Oh man. Upcoming. Who needs upcoming? She's playing right now. Welcome everybody. It's Josh with Inktology, and we're starting late tonight. We're having fun with uh, with a uh, judge's guy named Ehud. Uh, let me make sure that I'm live. Yeah, so we are live. I don't know why this hasn't refreshed though. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Help out your boy here. Uh, we are at, oh wow. I jumped up 20 followers within like two days. How awesome is that? Uh, right on, right on. <sighs> Sorry about last night's drawing kind of sucked. I'm very frustrated about it, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Um, I have to open up this app real quick to to kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing. Huh. I guess I can't use my iPad this way. I wanted to see my YouTube channel on a... Ooh, where did it go? Um, guess I have to download that. Mm, oh well, that's life. Probably gonna be doodling, having fun, just kind of, you know, giving the vibes, feeling it, feeling the vibes. Okay, let's move it in front of the camera. TF, yo, yo, que pasa? Just drawing. E2, como esta? Bien, eh? I wish this camera was not literally right in front of my face. It's like, I gotta get a better setup. This is driving me mad. Okay, um, I just got done, man, I found out that I'm allergic to something in this room, and I still can't figure out what it is, it's not my gloves, it is something, I'm gonna find out what it is, I'm like, the moment I walked in this room I was dying, um, but it's not the gloves, I didn't even put on these gloves. I walked into this room and not even 12 seconds later, I was like sneezing 20 times, blowing my nose. And um, I've got these rashes appearing on my wrist. So something I have in this room is just getting to me and I don't know what it is, I have no idea. I'm thinking it might be my scarves. I just put that on for a second. I would hate. To, I would hate to think that's my. Yeah, I do. I am congested. I'm dying right now. I feel like. Uh, my life right now is just pissing me off. Um, anywho, I want to draw. I want to have fun drawing. I don't want to be worried about my sneezing crap. Uh, I did watch a movie. That's why I'm playing late. Uh, no, I don't have any plans. No plans. Um, I, it could be my computer. I think my computer puts out a lot of dust. And I think it just blows it in this room, but tell you the truth, I really don't know. Like, I've thought about everything here, and I can't figure it out. I'm just going to have to start bringing in things one by one. Hey, Yuko. Welcome, welcome. Sorry for my sniffles, but uh, you, know the, you know the drill. That's what it is. Um... I wish I had a fan in this room. That'd be great. Um, oh, boy. I watched this movie, Civil War. I don't know if you guys have uh, heard of it. It's a new movie that just came out. And it is one of the... I have to consider it probably my favorite film for the last... Shoot. Last five years, I think. 
It is. It is. Uh, it's a ten out of a ten, which I never give movies ten out of a ten. Never. I don't even. I, I, there's not a single movie. I don't even give Star Wars a ten out of a ten. Okay, it's like a nine point eight. Um, pollen. Well, there's no pollen in this room. I think I'm allergic to uh, the lack of oxygen in this room or something, or because like I'm, these rashes are really weird. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. <sighs> I think I might have to like do these live streams somewhere else. Um, that or start touching things in my room to see what it is. Like I'm looking around and I don't see anything that would give it to me. You know what's funny is I had an air purifier and I got rid of it. Dummy, dummy. I might have to buy another one. <laughs> <I'm dying. laughs> it's so not fun. Uh, it's okay. It is. It is what it is. But if you get a chance to go see this movie, um, I highly recommend it. It's called Civil War. It's with Kirsten Dunst, which I don't even like Kirsten Dunst, but she um, she proved me wrong today. I am a huge fan of her acting now. Uh, but the story, the the, the movie is about if uh, a president wants to do a third term under the premises of. Kind of, you know, you know, kind of, you can kind of guess of our politics that we're having to in these days, you know. And it's so well done because it's from the point of view of press and photographers doing um, photography for wars and, and press and what they kind of have to sacrifice and go through to get these photos. But it's also about telling, seeing, you know, what they go through, but then how USA would be. If, you know, um, we went to Civil War. Because I have a prediction that we will go to Civil War. If, like, a certain president is in play. Um, and I'm not, I'm not dissing you on whoever you vote for, honestly. At this point, I don't trust anybody. Uh, all these guys are just wacky to me. But, um, but if you were to, you know, let's say if the, one of the presidents, either or tries to pull something funny, you know, like what did the, what do the American people do and stuff? And it'd be the divide between like the West and the East and, you know, the North and the South and like these factions of military, like does the military join, you know, what the president does, the military do. Oh, it's like so, it's so deep and I love it. I highly recommend it. It was beautiful. The cinematography was gorgeous. I mean, absolutely the best cinematography of, of the decade. Easily, I, I don't. I can't. I can't even imagine another movie better than the cinematography I saw in that film. Uh, it's very high budget, though, so you know they can afford it, I guess. What am I doing right now? Just drawing, whatever. Um, Kirsten Dunst back in the day. You know, I I liked it when uh, what was it? Vampire movie. Um, she's a little kid though, so I guess I can't really say. Um, she was a good actress though for a kid, killing it. And then I saw this movie Melancholia, and I was like very destroyed. I wasn't very happy with it. Um, something about it turned me off. Honestly, we just need somebody. Yeah, we need younger who doesn't have their brain uh, up their butt, and who isn't fighting for their own reasons. I uh, I just can't believe we're in this situation. You know what I mean? Like, how the heck are we in this situation? I'm looking. I'm thinking about young as in like, it'd be nice to have like a a 42 year old that's a scientist. I would like to have not a scientist, maybe a historian, like a president. You know what I mean? Someone who has like the ability to go, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a group of advisors of scientists, the greatest minds in the world. Doesn't matter the ethnicity or what they are doing, you know, greatest minds, and let's just think of this stuff and use professors to kind of build out the perfect structure for a country's, you know, success or you know. Um, that'd be cool. But maybe not. Virgin suicides, yeah. Well, that's back in the good old days when they made movies like super sweet. 
Yeah, educated, man. <laughs> I hate the news, dude. I can't stand watching our presidents. For the last couple years, last couple decades, I'm like, man, I I don't know what happened, but we seem to get more ridiculous and more radical. Um, sucky things I voted for half of these characters. Ugh. Great regrets. Um, anywho, whatever. Let's see. What am I drawing? I need a shoulder here. Yeah. Um, I was watching the show Shogun. If you guys haven't seen that either, that's really dope. Uh, this episode, the recent one, was just insane. Um, the show is like, it's kind of like FX version of, or Hulu's, I don't know who actually makes it, but their version of, of like Game of Thrones meets Japanese Shogunate, and like, that's so rad uh, to me. Let's see, hold on, I need to do a link with this. Hold on. Elbow. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, let's do it here. We should do a wrinkle here. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Let's go back up here. He looks like a... He looks kind of weird. Gonna have a turban on. Uh, my character is gonna have this turban. Uh, it's kind of an Arab look to him. It's gonna add some really cool details. Just give my own twist to what I think the Ben the Knights. Uh, not the Benjaminite. What am I thinking? His tribe looks might look like No, it's not the soap. The soap I've been using for a while now, and it's been it's been great. It's been fine. It's been a little dry, maybe, but um, definitely isn't the soap. It's like when I it literally has to do something with this room because I was fine ten minutes before I walked in this room, and then all of a sudden I walked in this room, and it felt like I got hit with a, like a tidal wave of like allergies and nonsense. So it's got to be the room. The only thing is, is like I don't spend enough time. Um, well, I don't have any candles I light in here. Um, I don't like candles that much, so it's not like I use them very often. But uh, I don't. Know. I mean, I think I don't spend time in this room because I only come in here to do the live streams, really. And throughout the day, I'm usually in the you know kitchen area, you know, or the living room working on stuff because there's a lot more of a breeze. This room is kind of stuffy, but I kept the window open all day long, so I'm not really sure why, um, you know, the office is um, stuffy and stuff, but it, I don't know, maybe it is this, maybe it is this scarf. I have this old school scarf I got from um, Laos, and I love it, and I, sometimes I, I use it to balance out the weight of my my tripod so that way it doesn't balance the camera every so often um, but I don't know it could be it I don't really know it could be like it needs to be cleaned but I can't really wash a scarf like this it's like super cool scarf and uh, it is oh, gosh Good question. I don't know what it is, honestly. It's uh, 
whatever those bugs that spit out silk, not silk, but like. I know there's a tag here. Made in the, uh, cotton. It's 100% cotton. Hand wo uh, woven by some ladies in, in, uh, in Laos. Like, I've been looking for this thing for, yeah, care. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to rub it on my skin and see what happens. But I just put this on my neck, but my neck isn't really itchy. Jeez. Watch it just be stress. That's what the real issue is, is stress. I spent uh, half of my day on the computer filling out forms to get, you know, unemployment and, um, and, uh, what is it? Schooling, FAFSA for schooling, so I can go back to school and get my degrees in archaeology, and uh, that was stressful. Pain in my butt. Yeah, maybe I will hand wash it, or I don't know how you clean something like this. Oh well, that is what life is about. Yeah, I've been wanting to go back to school for archaeology. And, um, and that's my true passion is like, I love anything to do with history and like the what we can learn about our old selves is like, a huge, huge thing for me. Um, I just never thought it was a, of it as a career, and there's not really a career in it. That's what kind of sucks. Is like it's like, you know, there's not many archaeological jobs out there, and the jobs that are out there is mainly just digging for, um, you know, pottery and stuff in certain countries. But I would like to do Middle Eastern and Egypt and stuff. Uh, and but I would, I, I want to convert it to archaeology with art. You know what I mean? Like, figure out what archaeological... No, no trees and bushes. Outside. I mean, I do, yes, there is a tree outside the window. Uh, I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's a tree. But I've never been allergic to outdoors, so... But it could be. I mean, I gotta go sniff the tree then. like a pile of tissues beside my desk now. It's amazing what the body can do to try to get rid of uh, allergic reactions. Whew. Anyways, what's going on with your lives? Anything fun? Any new drawings you guys working on? Um, I don't want to be talking about my allergy problem all day long, you know what I mean? Or all night. But some days, like yesterday and the day before, it wasn't that bad. Like, okay, maybe yesterday was still kind of bad, but then the day before I was drawing, it wasn't that bad. So I don't know. Not on a live, not a live drawing.
thinking about doing that gambit ink drawing because uh, I need material to give me a break from like, you know, trying to produce something that I need to produce all the time. Um, if you do do one, I'll definitely be checking it out for sure. You have an idea of what you're thinking about uh, drawing this week then, if you are going to draw? Radio, radio, radio. Well, I feel you. It's hard to come up with stuff and know what you're going to do. Got to put a sheath in there. Ah, I can still put it in here. It's getting a little bit better. My nose is clearing up a little bit. Okay. the light source here so everybody knows where the light source is coming from no 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 you know what let's do it down here let's make it bright by my my dude's feet Greek or Minoan. Oh, nice. Love Greek drawings. They look dope. Minoan would be cool too. Love to see a Minoan drawing. Either way, I'm sure it's going to be great. that to hang what am I thinking
Okay, let's get to his face. His face is looking jacked up. It's hard to draw like this. Hold on, guys. One second. Okay, I just want to get these shadows built in. So we're going to move straight into the inking part. Just going quick today, kind of just, you know, having fun trying to build out a character who looks cool. Yesterday, I, my brain was overworking on it. Hey, Frozzy. Welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somewhat, right? He still needs some work. Uh, I just try to stop adding so much stuff on him. I just added a scarf and some kind of kimono looking outfit. Oh my god. Whew. Where is my Sweatin', sweatin'. So now I'm gonna switch to the brush pen. Uh, after I open up a nice drink, drink. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. So nice. Okay, so let's start coloring in this guy. Light source is coming down from the bottom right, so everything here is going to be blacked out on his back end. I'm just going to do the outline first. And then we're just going to color this stuff in. Sorry. Watched a little bit of Fight Club today to try to look for some poses that I might like to draw. And I just got distracted because it's such a good movie. Um, I didn't get any poses. Christmas.
Okay, let's see. Sorry if I'm not talking very much, it's because my nose is like going at it, so like I don't want to say anything and then my, I have to sneeze or blow my nose or something, which is like a whole new skill. Now my head itches. Oh my gosh. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I like these kind of shadows too. They're like super intense and dark and they block out most of the information. And they make it easier to draw. You just go with it and just, you know, go with the flow. I wish I made his dagger shorter, but this, this will do. Love Frank Miller. Frank Miller was my boy. My old boy. It's good stuff. I always take good references from Frank Miller's work because when you overthink things, you know, go back to Frank Miller. He will simplify things down to a really good, really good art style. Helps you simplify stuff. Where are we at? Hope you found my inking tutorial video uh, helpful that I posted. I um, try to make something super simple, something helpful for people to kind of like get started and, and like think about the process instead of like how to actually draw an ink. I'll get to that video. You know, I have to create multiple content videos, so I'll get to that soon. Um, I think my next video I'm going to try to work on this week is like how to build a character. Um, from scratch, all the different ways you can do it. Uh, I see a lot of videos of people talking about different character building and using the Loomis method or using all this other different ways, and which is all going to be very useful not either way around it. But I'm going to try to give my, my version of it, see if it's helpful to for people as well. Um, Yeah, because I, I think you can overthink it too, and you know, you know, there's all these different ways. Like mine, 
Sometimes I just go with the flow, you know, have fun, and then mess up, throw away the paper. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you got to be okay to throw away stuff. Um, I mean, you shouldn't really throw it away. You should always keep it for reference that what you did, but... Um, yeah. Anyways, you know what I mean. So that's probably the next video I'm going to be working on. Oh my gosh. Woe is me. Feel bad for you guys. You gotta hear me sniffle the whole time. The sniffle artist. I should change my name to. Not Aintology. Close in his hand. You know what? I should get a nasal spray. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I probably should. That's probably the best advice ever is get a nasal spray. Don't know why I haven't done that. Freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous, I tell you. Uh, let's go back up here to the head, see if I need to do anything like this. And then, kind of looks like a ninja. He's <laughs> got this ninja vibe to him. Okay, let's get rid of the, the thick brush and let's go back to the zero one. And two has it better than one, that is true. That is very true. Uh, silence. Oh my gosh. Okay. From here, now that I kind of blocked out some of the shadows that I wanted to have, I can go in and actually detail some of this work. Um, know what I mean problem is I can't get over this camera the, the way I want no, let me zoom in though there we go ha 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 Well, let's do the let's do his head first. 
Hattori Hanzo. Heck yeah, you, do, you know what it is? It's this thing right here. It's kind of got that Japanese thing going. I, I need to fix that. You know what? Let's fix that right now. And it have more of an Arabic look to it, or like a Middle Eastern look to it. Oh, that looks like a freaking front plate for Naruto. Come on, Josh, what are you doing? I'm trying to give him a nice big old nose. It's not really working out too well. I'm gonna give some baggy eyes. That might help. That's a little bit better, a little bit more Middle Eastern, I guess. Still could use some work. Whatever. it. Okay, let's just get to his hands. You know, I've been just jonesing all day to play Call of Duty for some reason. I have no understanding why. Um, I really don't even fancy that game anymore, but for some reason I've just wanted to like battle. Let me figure out what's going on in my brain. I've also been jo jonesing for Final Fantasy. I don't know if you guys play games at all, but I've been wanting to play Final Fantasy X, the remake, for a while. I love Final Fantasy. I think it's one of the best like interactive like RPGs. Uh, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I need to try out Fallout though. Since I watched this TV show, I'm like very curious of like what the game is like. Huh. 
You're right. This thing does look like Hattori Hanzo or a Japanese dude. I gotta fix this nonsense. Is Fallout addictive? I bet it's addictive. I want an addictive game. I want a game to like really, you know, drive me to play it. Like, like I, I think I want to think about it all day, kind of stuff. I haven't met a game that's really brought my imagination out in a long time. Honestly, I wish I had I knew people that played games. Man, no one plays games anymore. Once you're in your thirties, I guess games are kind of like out of it. You know, you don't you have time for that kind of stuff. You're like, eh, boohoo, not gonna do it. Which makes sense. It makes sense. Ooh, Fallout 4. I heard Fallout 4 was good. Um, you put in weeks. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, you got to put in some time, right? Yeah. Put in some weeks. Bet you did. You know, playing video that's why I like playing video games. It gives me a lot of inspiration. It gives me the most inspiration. Like, whenever I can, like, Japanese games specifically, they will give me the most inspiration because Japanese people are so wildly imaginative that it forces my brain to go, okay, 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 why did I never think of that, you know? Like, why did I never go that far with my imagination? And, uh, it, it like... I totally respect the Japanese uh, when it comes to creative thought. They're just a superior race. A superior race in the imagination world. I'm not going to lie. I'll admit it as a Korean. And us Koreans don't like to admit anything that the Japanese are better in any way. But um, darn it. When I look at their games and the way that they function as, as a creative, I'm like, darn Darn you guys. What do y'all do? Just spend all day just thinking of the craziest junk ever and go like, you know what? A butterfly warrior with like tentacles as arms slash is a ninja but has fallen from the tree of life. Uh, needs to redeem himself in some kind of uh, otherly world where creatures eat each other. You know, like some great crazy stuff like that. But then it works. It works. Yeah, I mean, well, you know what's funny is I think the same thing, but then hearing some people from from uh, Korea and Japan, they say that the Japanese are very suppressed because their government requires them to be very obedient and very, uh, you know, uh, kind of that way to work and stuff like that. But then when I went, I go there all the time, and I'm like, these guys are not restrained by anything they can wear literally whatever they want to wear and they can like do whatever they kind of want to do there are some cultural things you can't do but for the most part that's like the same thing as in america you can't do certain stupid stuff like i don't know i feel like yeah maybe they definitely are they don't have religion tying them down they do have some religious ideas of like protecting the country of japan and but is it any worse than the American mentality, you know? I don't think so.
my favorite thing in Japan is how clean the streets are. You can literally eat ramen noodles off the street and you'd be all right. Like, they do not have dirt anywhere. That place is so darn clean, it's insane. Right, Frozzy. You know, if you, they're, they're open and they're respectful, but indoors they are kinky and, you know, they have fetishes. But aren't we all, you know? Like, they're a little bit more explored. They explore it a little bit more, and they're more open about it. But you're telling me the Swedish and the French don't have that kind of stuff? You're telling me the Americans don't have that kind of stuff? A little bit. You know, they just get away with, like, I mean, Japanese just do it better. I think. Okay, they have some weird stuff. Don't get me wrong. They have some weird stuff. They got some they got some weird stuff that I'm confused about, but you know. I think every country's got their weirdness. Yeah, you're right. Japan doesn't really judge you. You're like, uh you're like, okay, you're just that guy. I went into, uh, I was in Japan when I was younger and I went into an adult store just to see what it was like because, you know, I was so curious and I went in and it was exactly what you would think it was. And uh, the funny thing is, though, the, the they didn't have as much weird stuff as I thought, but I didn't, I didn't feel weird going in there. The people that worked there were just like college students who were just like trying to make money and just like, okay, yeah, all right, whatever. They didn't even care. And I was like, whoa. That's crazy. Like when you go into a store in America, you feel like you're you're getting a disease. You know, it's gross. Um, it's hardcore, nasty. Uh, I don't go to those kind of stores anymore. But when I did, when I was young, you know, you turn twenty one, you want to explore what you can do. Um, Texas is not the place to do it, though. Gross is all I can say. Grossy. <laughs> uh, oh, the things we do when we're young. I do wish I can go back to Japan, though, and live there. Yeah, they give you that look like, you freak of nature. I'm like, dude, you're, the, you're in here, too. If you're looking at me, what are you talking about? Don't look at me that way. You're also in here. <laughs> All these weird fetishes. So what if I have a fetish for piano key uh, ties? What can you say? You know, not that I do, but it'd be kind of it wouldn't. You know, it wouldn't be out of the norm in Japan. I'm sure. Piano key ties. Yeah, it's it's expensive. It's crazy expensive, that's for sure. No one can afford Japan. Actually, Japan's uh, dollar went down a lot, so you can actually afford it. It's like, it's your dollar stretches very far now, so you can actually go there and live like quite nicely. You can do whatever you want. Um, very cool. I'm trying my best to. Octopus girls and stuff, yeah. I, I, you know, I saw a documentary. Not I didn't watch it, but I saw there was a documentary or something on where that came from. I need to check it out though, because I'm curious where that even spawned from. Yeah. Because like that's a pretty extreme kind of thought process. Um, I think, but maybe because they're a sea country and by the ocean, that kind of stuff makes sense. I don't know. This arm looks goofy. You know what? I need a. I want to only stint.
that's better. Masuguro Masume, Musume? Never heard of it. I got introduced to it by an anime called Ninja Scroll. Um, not that there was any kind of tentacles in there, but it was this uh, ninja who kind of, kind of st weird stuff like that. Um, and then I think I watched another anime because Blockbuster had, you know, and Blockbuster had only a limited selection of anime, but they did have some that was kind of wild. And uh, I would, you know, I had to watch all that I could. And I didn't even know what I was getting into. I was like, whatever, I'm just going to watch it because it's anime. And uh, some stuff was like, man, my mom walked in while I was watching Ninja Scroll and the, and the worst scene that they have in the entire movie. I was like, out of all the scenes, Ma, like you had to come in on this one scene. You're kidding me. <sighs> just my luck, of course. That happens like literally every time. I feel like she just watched, she stood by my door waiting for me to like, for, for the scene to go like, make some kind of weird sound. And she'd be like, oh, my son's watching a naughty video and then come in and bust. And I'm like, like literally, this was a 10 second part of an anime and you caught me at it. Like that's ridiculous. I'm like, don't you have a life? So I'd always have a controller right beside me to turn the volume down in case something crazy started happening. Uh, you can never trust animes. Goodness, they're they're rough. They'll trick you. They look all sweet and cute on the outside, and all of a sudden you start watching it and you're like, oh boy. There's a really cool uh, movie called, if you like Japanese films that are kind of like ninjas and stuff like that, there's this movie that was probably one of the best ninja movies I've ever saw, and it was called uh, Shinobi. Uh, it's like very imaginative. It's like this ninja f clans, but they have to fight these like super ninjas that have like these superpowers and stuff, but it's so well done. On the cover, it's like this dude and his like girl like kind of hugging each other, but like I picked it up one day and... That that Shinobi movie was like the best martial arts slash like anime mixed with live action kind of thing. I feel like if Naruto was to be created in a live action, it should be made identical to that. Otherwise, it'd be a failure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Very true. <sighs> Whew, my nose. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're getting there. We're making moves on this uh, Ehud character. He's coming along. He's definitely more of a shinobi character. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I did that. I thought it I thought with the the head wrap thing it would be better. But it's not really working out. Um It's okay though. He still looks pretty cool. He still gives me an idea of what I want want him to look like. He's not perfect, but who is perfect these days? You know, Ryan Gosling, he's perfect. I watched, uh, if you know anything about Ryan Gosling, he did this one thing called uh, on SNL about Papyrus, the uh, font type. And uh, he did the part two of it. It was so funny. I love that. SNL is so funny sometimes. Sometimes it's terrible. Sometimes I just find it boring. But uh, the Papyrus episodes are really good because he, he makes, oh, shoot.
Sorry. Split second of uh, bad camera stuff. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, TF, you're right. A character sheet? Yeah, I should do a character sheet. Hey, that was pretty quick, though. That was like that was like 15 seconds of blackout. I just wish I could hook it up to like a cord and I wouldn't even have to do these things about my uh, my camera. But this camera doesn't allow me to really like I have to have a battery in it, which is lame. Lamo. Avatar using <laughs> virus <laughs> is so funny though. You have to admit, like Avatar, a multi-million dollar movie, chooses the font type of papyrus, and then part two, um, it's papy. I don't even want to spoil it. Oh man, it's so good, hilarious. Ryan Gosling killed it. He did so such a good job. Uh, hilarious. Oh my gosh, so funny. So super funny. Oh, you know what? I gotta do his middle satchel. We're getting there. We're almost done. Pagarza. What's up, Pagarza? My man, Pagarza. Dude, the dudes. You're surprised I'm on? When am I not on? I have a, I have a goal to be on every single day, 365. Well, not 365. Every weekday for this whole entire year of 2024. That is my goal. That's why I'm on. And if I'm not on, you better believe I have a very good reason. I will not be on, let me tell you guys, on the 24th to the 28th. Hey, the Fallout series is amazing. I love it. Hey, you know the main actress, the 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 girl. She's English. She's from England. She her accent is super thick, but she plays an American uh, accent so well. I saw her interview on uh, Jimmy Kimmel or Fallon or one of the others. Um, so good. Anywho, um, that's my goal to be on as much as possible because I, I want to, Hey, so like some of you guys might be learning art as well, but I am too. I'm not a professional professional. Like I'm not like, well, I would never consider myself a professional, but like, I'm not like, I'm not the greatest. You can see, look at me, look at, look at this nonsense. Like it's just goofing around. And then yesterday, Oh, how terrible was that stuff? Oof. You know, not terrible, but like, it's just not like, I, I try to think of like, you know, I have standards too for myself, which sucks. Oh yeah, I love the gore in that show. It's great. You know, so me doing these videos is kind of me learning how to draw is what I'm saying. Her eyes are so big, are they not? They're like enormous. Yeah, she's got big old eyes, uh, which works out great. I think they're better than like Anna Taylor. What's her name? The guy, the girl who's playing the new, um, the new uh, Furiosa. Like her eyes are really big, but they're kind of distracting big. But the girl in this show. find is like a really good size for being big you know big eyes
<laughs> yeah. It's probably why she's so she's so popular. Big eyes. Funny how big eyes are, are, are a thing these days. <laughs> she's the, she's the eye queen. She is the eye queen, but it's a little bit much. I'm not a fan of the eye queen. Um, then again, I haven't really watched Queen's Gambit. Heard she's good in that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That show, the, the the ghouls are really cool because, like, you know, they're kind of like this side species that really works out well uh, for the character development of, like, what radiation does to people. And I really like that. I thought that was really dope because my, cause my uh, card game, my board game that I have, uh, it's hard to say if it's a card game, board game. It's both. Um, we use ghouls as characters that kind of take you into melee mode right away. So it's really cool. I'm trying to get my buddy who helped me create the game to to watch it, but I, he's he's busy with a newborn, so he can't really like sit down and watch a TV show. But we created ghouls as our card game characters and they and it kind of works similar in a way because they kind of like bypass healing and stuff like that and yeah, that's really cool stuff but oh yeah that's what i want to do chain mail plug time yeah if you haven't joined already, join I Am Champion, TCG.com, where you can get the coolest trading card game on the planet. I gotta plug it when I can. I haven't had sales in a while. Um, I don't really pitch it anymore because <sighs> I've been working on the darn board game for so long. That's why. You know how hard it is to market a card game? Like, it's freaking, it's the hardest task I've ever done. I could sell a house, I could sell cars, I could sell anything. But I, card games, there's a special niche of human being that plays cards, and they're not everywhere. And they're picky. Mm. Oh, are they picky. Different type of human. But board games I can probably market, so we're moving to the board game world. Gotta run that Kickstarter, you know? It is a cool game though. We created it because um we were tired of like Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! being so complicated. Like like let's say, you know, you're in your thirties or you're in your 40s, you want to have some interaction with friends, you want to bring a board game over, but then you're like, I really want to play a trading card game. I want to have like these like weird interaction board, uh, trading card style, but then none of your friends want to play trading card games. Like They're like, eh, that's like lame. I don't want to learn all the technical stuff. Or if you have kids and you're like, I want to learn a card game with my kids, but then the kids play all these really either really childish or super complicated like magic, and you're like, whoa, that's too much for me to learn. So we needed something that would be the in-between, you know? And so we created a I Am Champion, and it's perfect. It's Honestly, I think it's perfect. I, I, would never, I wouldn't be boasting this way if I didn't think so, but we really worked hard on it and really like played at it, thinking what would be ridiculously fun, and it worked out. But because we don't have certain tropes to the trading card world, Trading card gamers find it a little bit like, oh, it's a little bit too easy, but it's meant to be easy. So you can bring it over to a friend, like drinking games or whatever. You can just start playing it at a bar or whatever and not feel weird about it. But, uh, you know, it's a lesson we learned that trading card games are actually dying in this new generation, but board games will stay on. So, yeah, Monopoly is great. Other than the fact that I never win. I wish I won a Monopoly. I freaking suck at Monopoly. (laughs) 
Our board game is more of like you put down a trading card or you put out one of your champions. They're all champion cards. There's no like land or any other, no other cards whatsoever, except for the board game will have like like scenario cards. But usually when you play the trading card game of ours, you just throw down your one card. You, you collect champions and then you throw it down because the rules are on it. It's like, oh, if you roll a two, if you roll a five, you do this. Real simple. Like a seven-year-old can learn it. And we tested it down to like, I think, Seven years old is the youngest we can play. But then you just battle. You battle. If you win, you win. Move on to the next card, next character. You know, we have 150 characters. We have like, well, actually we have like 180, but uh, we're supposed to have 300, but we stopped at 180 because, you know, as an artist, my buddy was like, dude, I can't, like, I need time to create new characters. And have you drawn the vault, dude? What's the vault, dude? Vault, you mean the vault from uh, from uh, the show we were just talking about, <laughs> Fallout? Oh, Vault Boy? No, you know what? We should do a Vault Boy. We have someone similar to him, actually. We have a... I mean, I guess we don't. We don't. No, we don't have a blonde-haired little Vault Boy. That'd be kind of funny. Okay. Much better than yesterday with this new drawing. Um, that's for sure. Okay. Uh. You know, you know, everything looks kind of cool for him. I think for Ehud here, um, I just don't like his face. Uh, his face makes me angry. I think I'm not digging his face. I do like his uh, his outfit. He kind of feels like this warrior battler. He's just got too much clothes on, maybe. Um, well, you know what? That's what the issue is. It's too much of a robe. Let me do this. Hmm. Either way, uh, I think Yeah, he's got a butler face Yeah, it's I don't know what's going on I wanted him to be kind of aggressive I went too far with him His shoulder's missing too Why is his shoulder missing? Um, okay, I'm taking this glove off. Golly. Now I'm itchy on my head, my forehead. Um, all right, guys. So let's end tonight. Let's enjoy. Uh, he's a fart assassin. Farts on victims. Is that one? Yeah, maybe we can have him like, yeah, taking a taking a rip on their face. If I had his eyes looking down, they could put a head here and then put some gas. That'd be awesome. That'd be the best. Um, so, that's it for tonight. This is just a sketch of what I wanted Ehud to look like. At least I got his knives what I wanted. That's the best part. The knives are right. Um, his hands look okay. His turban head wrap should needs more work. Really bothersome. Um... No, American Ninja 1985. Oh, man, I love American Ninja 1985. That was so good. Um, 
He's kind of got the skirt, but then it turns into pants down here. That's a flaw on my end. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Maybe it's like one pant leg and then this one's rolled up. I don't know. He's supposed to have a skirt. He's supposed to have a skirt on. Mm. Yeah, he needs some work. He needs some work. He's not, uh, he's not 110%. Turn this down. There you go. That, that looks better. Uh, I guess tomorrow I'll work on something different. Could just be a normal grunt assassin who's going to kill, or try to kill Ehud. Ehud needs to really stand out. I really need him to like be the character I need him to be. Uh, this is not the character. This looks like some dude he just kills on the street. So, you know, we live and we learn. Anyways, guys, um, it's probably midnight for me. I don't know what time it is actually. Let me check. Where's my? F yeah, it is midnight. Okay, we're done. We are done. So thank you guys for putting up with me sniffling and blowing my nose and as well as, uh, you know, chit-chatting. It was fun. It was fun having you guys. TF, Figarza, Yuko, uh, Frozzy, all you cool cats out there. Jim Cotta, 1985. What's Jim Cotta? Ooh, I have to check that out. I love anything made in 1985. Fantastic films. If that's a real movie, I don't know if you're just spouting stuff, but it sounds dope. Um, anyways, uh, three ninjas kick butt, you know. I will see you guys soon. See you all tomorrow. Have a great night. And if you're creative, go create. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, this is just a doodle night of doing my assassin character Ehud. See you guys soon. Peace out.